Have you ever felt extremely hungry and wanted to have some snacks for no reason at midnight? If you experience the same thing, please raise your hand. Okay, thank you. And after suffering something that makes you really upset, have you ever wanted to overeat? If you experience the same thing, you can also make, okay, I get you. Thank you. And after this, will you be rather self-critical? See the increased number on the scale. Get it. And don't worry if your answer is yes, because I have experienced the same things. And today, I'm here to share my opinions and experience to tell you how to deal with these problems. My roommate and I are both huge fans for bubble tea. After drinking a whole bottle of it, we will feel extremely satisfied and forget about the pressure. You know, the famous singer J. Cho cannot also reject the amazing magic of bubble tea. Sometimes, we will also order some fried chicken before the final exams or midterms to try to eat it while reviewing the notes. And also, brownies, cheesecakes, cup noodles, a lot of food. We almost held after midnight tea time every day. So I bet you can tell the consequence. After one whole semester, well, I gradually put up on weight. My roommate just keeps as slim as before. So I cannot stop wondering why. Why if we can have such great attraction? Why some people seem never get heavier? Finally, I found the answer in an article. The reason people get hungry is caused by a thing called leptin, which is a hormone, also called starvation hormone, produced by people's fat cells. When your brain sees leptin, it will know that, okay, this guy has enough energy to participate in some daily activities, and he is sufficiently stored with energy. Also, everything goes normal, and that's really good, right? But when people are in diet, the level of leptin will decrease, because the fat burns out of from your fat cells, and as your brain sees it decrease, it will tell you to eat more, to back up to the normal level. So you can see the guy here just eats the spaghetti so much. And what about it? So for each person, this mechanism might be genetically varied, which means whether you are easy or not to get heavy is determined while you are born. So it might not be my fault to get heavier than my roommate. It's my genes fault. And there are ways to combine these two things. So this mechanism can only tell us how people keep surviving from eating. What about answering the question that how people get pleasure from eating their favorite food? And I finally realized that the reasons why I eat much food before the midterms is because I was suffering from a long-term stress. And this will just me want to escape from it. And food, in this case, is a good choice. In Doreen Virtue's book, she tells us that when people feel anxious, they might want the food with crispy cover, like fried chicken. When people feel depressed, they might want cakes with cream on it. And when people find their life really boring, they will want the food with hot and spicy flavor. So despite of these, there are also physiological basis. So the reasons why people gain pleasure from food is called serotonin, which is a neurotransmitter that can recall you of your happy memories. And so when people have some bad, or just take regular exercise, or just take some chocolate or crabs, the brain will boost the serotonin level and you will feel comfort and with great pleasure. And when serotonin levels goes down,
People will feel depressed and lack of motivation. As I mentioned before, crabs and chocolate are with huge energy. So these are food that can cause you gain weight so easily. So it might be contradicted here how to keep both healthy diet as well as like keeping happy. So here are the solutions. Despite of the serotonin, the environment can also contribute to our weight gaining. So after a long time staying in the room, without the exposure to the sunlight, your serotonin level will go down as well. What's more, the low temperature also causes people to eat more. Just recall your experience in the Spring Festival and Christmas. What's more, unpleasant human relationship can also make you eat much. Just think about on the New Year Eve dinner table, where your relatives ask you about questions like, what's your performance in the final exam? Have you reached the top three? Have you got a girlfriend yet? Why you look so bigger than last year? Have you eaten so much? Well, these tortures will definitely make you recall some of your bad feelings. And this stress will urge you to eat more. What's more, there are also other factors that can cause you to increase your appetite to eat more food. But there are ways to escape from these problems. And I finally realized that in Doreen Virtue's book, she talked to us that it is your deeper mood that affects your appetite. So the first step is to ask yourself questions. Whether your hunger is, is real or it is caused by emotional variations. If your hunger is real, it's not wise to keep yourself away from food, but just it's a sign of your brain to ask you to get back to a normal level of energy. If your hunger is not real, you need to follow in those following steps. So second, count down 10 numbers and keep away from food for 10 minutes. And during this period, you need to tell yourself again and again that you're a great person. You can control your desire of food. It's not a proper time to eat food now. And third, if you find yourself that you can't really control your food desire, just get a drink, a cup of water, because water can clean the food remnant of your mouth, and it can also alleviate your thirst. Finally, after you really calm down, just think over and recall your recent experience and your recent life. Have you ever felt ashamed, embarrassed, or just anxious about something? So this might be the reason why you desperately want to eat something. With this means, you can find what you truly want, what your heart really wants to tell you. Maybe that is because of exams pressure, or maybe it's because of an unpleasant relationship. By reviewing this, by doing this, I hope you will control your food desire, as well as have a healthy daily life. In this case, you can balance the cuisines, the healthy diet, and also uh, have a happy life. Thank you, that's all.